Imagine you would be a hiring manager, and you're sitting in your office, and the door opens, and this handsome young man walks in. It's not me; it's someone else. And you ask that person, "Okay, sir, how much do you want to make?" And that person says, "One trillion dollars." What are you gonna say? Well, if you're a smart hiring manager, you're gonna pause for a second, think for a moment, and then respond. Well, what are you gonna do for us for that one trillion dollars? And imagine that person then says, "Well, I will take your current market cap of roughly a trillion dollars, and I will turn it into eight point five trillion dollars, adding seven point five trillion to the total value of your company. That is." What I want a trillion dollars for? What will be your response as the hiring manager? If you're smart, you're going to look at your budget and see. I don't have a trillion dollars. I can't pay this guy, but it's a good proposal. And so you're going to respond to him. Well, sir, if you're so smart and so capable, what about this? I will pay you a trillion dollars, but only after you generated that 8.5 trillion in total market cap, or added the 7.5 trillion to my current market cap. And if you're so smart. And so confident, you're gonna accept my offer. And that dude, without hesitation, says, "We got a deal." Now, this is pretty much what has just happened at Tesla, where Elon Musk is the applicant who is already CEO, who needs to have a compensation package. The hiring manager is Robin Denholm, the chairman of the board, and she has put forward that proposal, and that Elon Musk is gonna get. The unbelievable amount of one trillion dollars in shares, if he meets a series of milestones, and the bottom line of these milestones is, he needs to bring the stock up to eight point five trillion dollars in total value, seven point five trillion more than now, roughly a seven hundred percent increase in value. Now, obviously, this is setting records of all sorts. I just told a friend of mine. Was in Finland. That compensation is the equivalent of three times the GDP of all of Finland. So Elon is going to make as much money as all Finnish people and all companies in Finland generate three times over what they generate in a year. So that sounds a little crazy. Just using Finland here as a you know random nice country that's not poor. So it is a good chunk of money, and we have to now think about if that's a good deal. What we think about it and how it will impact Tesla stock. We'll make it short today, but before we jump into that, let's take a look at the actual compensation plan so we get the actual facts together, tightly together.、Uh, here is a very quick summary. So we have different categories he has to meet. This whole thing happens in milestones, and here's the summary of all milestones. What the end point will be. So the first milestone. Category is market capitalization, the total value of Tesla as a company, growth by nearly 7.5 trillion, maximum target of 8.5 trillion to receive the entire package. Details: the vesting tied to sustained increases in Tesla's market cap, requiring trillions in market creation、uh, in, in value creation beyond the 2018 awards billion scale billion scale targets. Obviously, now financials: adjusted EBITDA, earnings before interest, depreciation, and so on, up to 28. Times higher than 2018, which was the last comp package. Top milestone maximum of 400 billion dollars in profit annually. By far, by far more than the most profitable company in the world today. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. Targets escalate progressively, focusing on operational efficiency and profitability. We'll look into this in a second. What the actual targets are now on the product and operational side. That's also very interesting and exciting. He needs to roll out at least one million active robo taxis in commercial operation. So we need to see at least a million robo taxis on the roads of the world, and he has to deliver one million AI bots, humanoid robots. So we have different types of categories that he has to hit. He has to drive up Tesla stock. And the market value of the Tesla Corporation, he has to hit financial targets and bring in massive amounts of free cash flow and EBITDA, 28 times higher than the 2018 top targets. And on the product side, to make sure everything is actually product driven, one million robo taxis, one million humanoid robots. And as we will see at the end of this video, that's actually the toughest target. The rest will be pretty easy. Okay, let's take a look, closer look at. 
the exact milestones. So we have by Crescendo Capital, a nice little summary here. So you see that these milestones are actually uh, split into 12 steps, right? 12 steps and you see the market cap and operations milestone here. If he hits 2 trillion, which is probably gonna happen. So 2 trillion is uh, roughly 600 something dollars. That can happen very soon in the next 12 months for sure. Uh, but he also needs 20 million Tesla vehicles delivered, which is very easy. Uh, I assume that's the aggregate Tesla vehicles delivered since the beginning. We have roughly, I think, 6 million delivered so far. So he has to add another 14 million. The run rate will be probably 3 million next year and then going up, excluding CyberCap. So this is very easy. The next milestone will be 2.5 trillion with 10 million active FSD subscriptions, interesting. Uh, then 3 trillion and 1 million bots delivered, uh, 3.5 trillion and 1 million robo in commercial operation. By the way, right, if he hits all these market caps, which is kind of the easy part to hit the market caps, some of these are very difficult, right? He can just hit these milestones and not get paid until he hits also these milestones. So if he gets to, let's say, 4 trillion market cap very quickly, let's say in, you know, three years or something, two years, uh, but he didn't deliver the active FSD subscriptions, the milestone number two is not hit. But, right, if he goes then to 5 trillion and then suddenly delivers 10 million active FSDs and 1 million robots, uh, he gets it, right? You get it. And then it goes up more and more to 8.5 trillion market cap, 400 billion of adjusted EBITDA, uh, and then he gets his shares. $1 trillion in share value when he hits these goals is the equivalent, by the way, of 12% of Tesla. And we will see why this is very important in just a second. So my takeaway here is very smart plan. And I want to, you know, give you a little bit, a bigger perspective. Uh, if you look at my tweets or posts on X, uh, here's a quick summary. The deal is basically Elon gets 12% of Tesla for adding 7.5 trillion in value and driving the market cap to 8.5 trillion. Uh, it's a very nice headline number probably not totally random that Elon can now say, I get a trillion dollars paid, which is perfect PR because then people pay attention. People look into the plan. And as a shareholder, you, of course, you think, well, why would I not pay him a trillion if he makes me 7.5 trillion? Uh, here's a little math for you as a shareholder. What does it all mean? Roughly speaking, he has to increase the stock price by 600% from here, a little more than 600%, but roughly. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars in Tesla and Elon brings brings it to $700,000, would you give him $80,000 and keep 620,000? You know, gaining 520,000. I say yes, These are, this is very rough math. But this is the logic. One trillion is a lot, 12% of Tesla is a lot. But as a shareholder, you have to think about, would I pay Elon 12% of the company, meaning 12% of your shares diluted? Would you be willing to pay him 12% of what you have in Tesla? But only if, Elon drives up your stock by roughly 600%. So if you have 100,000 bucks in Tesla stock, Elon adds 600,000. So now you're sitting on $700,000 of Tesla stock. Would you give him 80,000, which is roughly 12% as a reward? If someone makes you 600,000, are you willing to pay him 80,000 for giving you 600,000? The answer is probably yes. And that is exactly what we are also seeing uh, right now. If he take a closer look here. Let's see what Tesla stock does after this news today. And we see that the stock is of course up significantly to 2.85%, was initially up even more. I think the market is a little weak right now and we are going into September problems potentially on the macro level. So under pressure, it, the market as a whole, but Tesla doing of course very well, because if you're a Wall Street analyst, you think, well, what can go wrong here? He doesn't get paid if he fails. If he gets paid, I get rich owning the shares. Win-win. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, at the end of this video, I want to take a look at our model that you can get in pioneerlands.net. We are sharing these models. Uh, so we see when he likely hits these milestones. And this is a Valuation model uh, that includes all the different components necessary to understand this. The valuation model here, of course, has pretty strong numbers in the base case because we are actually looking at the discounted cash flow in the future, and these are highly exponential industries. So the humanoid robots, Optimus, 
will make ridiculous amounts of money, uh, or at least humanoid robots will, and Tesla has the shot of owning a huge chunk of this market. Same is true for autonomy and robotaxis, we are more or less guaranteed to make enormous trillions and trillions in margin. Uh, and again, Tesla is at the pole position leading the world in autonomy. So that means that the actual market cap, right? Here's the fa fair market value cap, a uh, market cap in my model shows that Tesla should be at two, uh, 2.7 trillion right now, which it is not. So it's the, you get the shares at an enormous discount right now, if that model here is true. And over time, there's a forcing function, forcing the share price towards its fair future value, which is this year. And in my model, in the base case, Elon would hit already the max target by 2028, the 8.5 trillion. So for 2028, my fair value is already 11 trillion. That's including risk. So I do not think that the market cap will be a problem at all for Elon. He will hit that, I would say, more or less guaranteed before 2030, in my opinion, the market cap. Now let's look at the other targets. And you know, what's very interesting when we go back here is that these targets are actually pretty ambitious when you look at this. In order to get these tranches, so as I just elaborated on, I think he will hit the 12th milestone, the huge endpoint milestone, way faster than people think on the market cap category. The question is, right, on the operations milestone, how easy is that? I think 20 million Tesla vehicles, that's going to take three or four years, pretty much guaranteed. The 10 million active FSD subscriptions see probably the same amount of time. 50% of Tesla users will use FSD very soon. Maybe that year is a little faster than this year. Uh, if, if the robo taxis come along, but then it gets interesting. The 1 million bots delivered and the 1 million robo taxis will take a little bit longer. If you look at our base model here, we can go down. And uh, my projections show that the Optimus unit sales, I'm a little conservative here, but he will hit an install base in 2030. Is he in the first half of 2030, he will hit the 1 million uh, Optimus deployed. So 2030, I see right now as the inflection point to really go into scale, into really scale production. And before it's still, you know, smaller steps. I'm a little conservative on the robots, if I had to tell you my gut feeling, I think I'm a little too conservative here, but who knows? On the robo taxi side, the base model is also pretty conservative. So he would hit the million robo taxis by 2029. And uh, that means that these targets here, if we go back here, uh, that these targets here will actually take four years, four, four years roughly before he hits milestone number four. And when it comes to billions of adjusted EBITDA, let's take a final look and then wrap it. Then you know my opinion on this whole thing. Uh, revenue and EBITDA projections, I think there should not be a big problem here. So he should hit 255 billion in EBITDA in 2030, which means back to the milestones. Oh, 400 billion. Wow, pretty ambitious. So 400 billion in EBITDA when he's going to hit that. 400 billion in, in 2031. So there you have it. There you have it. Let's do a final summary here. If you look at the market tranches of his rewards, Joe Bakhti's official projections are the following. He's going to hit 8.5 trillion by 2028. That's only in three years. He's at milestone number 12 on market cap. On the operations milestone, he's going to hit number 12 in 2031. He's going to hit 1 million bots deliver in 2030 and 1 million robo taxis in 2029. He's going to hit them. These EBITDA milestones pretty quickly, you know, in line with these, these ones. And then that takes until 2031. So if you ask my base case projections, Elon will get his 1 trillion payday fully paid out by 2031. Why is this important? Because once he's paid, he needs to get paid again. So the next package, hopefully we'll see in 2031, everyone will be very happy about. And then finally, let's give it one last comment. What is important to consider? Elon always talked about his 25% control of Tesla shares that he needs in order to be happy, in order to have confidence to develop the world's most advanced embodied AI company with an enormous power, of course. Elon always said, if I do this, I want to make sure I have some sort of control 
of the company, not total control, not 51%, but at least half of total control, 25%. That was Elon's table stakes to go all in and make sure that Tesla doesn't go off the rails because that would be very dangerous for humanity. Elon currently has roughly 13% of Tesla and not accidentally, this comp plan adds 12%. Which means Elon is now on track, once this is approved by the shareholders November 6, to get to his 25%. Everyone will be very happy. Elon is fully on board. He can create the world's most valuable company without having a bad conscience about it. And we all want that as shareholders. So brilliant comp plan, brilliantly executed by the board, brilliantly negotiated by Elon, and brilliantly powerful and bullish for us as shareholders. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to vote on this whole thing. I recommend vote yes, of course. You would be insane to not vote yes. By November 6, we have it all done. And then the future is ours. I hope that was helpful and see you very soon.